Hello there everybody, this is Tadashi Mori. In this video I'm going to teach you how to make this scorpion here, as you can see in this video. Well, uh, this is my own design, so I won't teach uh, step by step, because it's kind of hard to make a step by step tutorial. But, well, so you need to be really experienced, because this is a really complex origami. So let's start. Basically, this origami, in this origami you need to divide the paper in 24 parts in the horizontal and vertical so it's going to be something like this you need to divide it in three parts then each part you divide in two parts and each part divide in two parts again like this first we are going to divide the paper in three parts and to do that, you're going to do something like this. Then you're going to make a fold from this point to this point. Like this. Now you can see this point here where this two line cross. You need to make a fold, making the edge of the paper go up to this point here, like this. Right? And then you open here and fold, making this side of the paper go up to this line. like this okay now we divided the paper in three parts each part you're going to divide in two parts like this And then again, you're going to divide each part in two parts, like this. Oh, I won't make it. Okay, you you keep dividing it, and then each part you're going to divide again in half. So by doing this. You, you will divide the paper in 24 parts. Well, anyway, keep dividing it and you will find you will divide the paper in 24 parts. And then you do the same thing here in the other direction. So, like this, right? Put the paper up to this point. Okay. And keep doing this. <coughs> Then you will divide the paper in 24 parts and well, it's basically going to have a lot of squares in the paper. Now you're going to get the crease pattern and make the diagonals like this. You can see here that here in this diagonal you have four squares and here again four squares here you can you here you have three squares and keep keep doing this this diagonal folds as you can find in the crease pattern in the video description okay after you make all the pre creases you fold all the diagonals and now you're going to fold the model like this you need to make a mountain fold along this line here like this Right. And now you are going to make to open the model here, making a mountain fold along this line, this line, and this middle line here. So it's going to be something like this. You're going to open here the model, right? And make here. 
the mountain fold in the middle line like this so the same thing here behind like this and do the same thing here and here here Okay, the model will look like this, right? And do the same thing here, but making uh, the mountain fold along this line and this line here. Okay, it's the same thing, it's like this, making a more big, a bigger gap here, like this. Right, and now in this last fold here, you're going to keep making here sink folds along this line here and make a zigzag here. Well, it's something like this you just make a sink fold along this line here. right and then make another sink fold here we made a mountain fold along this line now you're going to make a valley fold along the the next line and then a mountain fold again here in the next line okay like this And then again, like this. Okay, and do the same thing here, the other side. Okay, done. Now do the same thing here with the other side of the paper. And the model will look like this. Right? Now we are going to make this part first. So here you are going to open here the model a little bit. And you can see here those diagonals. We are going to fold these diagonals. Starting here in the middle, make a zoom here. Here you have this pattern here, right? And now you are going to to make a mountain fold along this line here. We have here a mountain fold. You're going just to continue here up to this line here, th this diagonal here. So like this, you're going to push here behind to make a mountain fold, right? And then a valley fold here in the next line up to this diagonal, okay? And again, a mountain fold in the next line. valley fold and a mountain fold here in the last line like this the model will look like this and then just push the paper and the model will lie flat again right it will look like this and do the same thing here, to the other side. So again, open here, make a mountain fold here, 
continue this line up to this diagonal here and again a valley fold and then a mountain fold doing this from this diagonal up to this diagonal here like this <clears throat> okay now you just need to open here this middle gap here like this right and then fold here this middle flap here all the way up like this and turn the model over now this part is going to be a little bit difficult you're just going to open here the model a little bit okay here you can see those lines those this line is here you have this valley fold going down and then when it gets to this diagonal here you need to make it change its direction to the horizontal like this right so it's something like this you have this valley fold go up to this diagonal then you change its direction and it goes up to the next diagonal and go up again so a valley fold keeps doing this a mountain fold keeps making the uh, a mountain fold so here you have this mountain fold go up to this diagonal and then here you're going to make another mountain fold and go up to this mountain fold again but something like this as you can see here right okay keep doing this in the next one two three three squares you need to open the model a little bit so here you have a valley fold so here you need to make another valley fold like this right and then a mountain fold again okay like this the next one again this one again okay the model will look like this right so you just keep you just continue each fold here Okay. Like this. Right? So just pull here these parts. Okay, you have something like this right now you need to fold here 
you have this this diagonal here. You need to open the model and reverse fold all these lines here on this diagonal here, like this. Okay, like this. The model will look like this now. Now you need to make here again the same thing. Make a, a mountain fold along this line here. Here you need to reverse fold inside reverse along this line here and this line here. So you are going to make a mountain fold on this flap. Side reverse it like, like this, and then make a valley fold here in the next line, like this. Okay, so this is. The model will look like this, so keep doing this on the next three flaps here. Again, mountain fold. And a belly fold. Okay, the model will look like this. <clears throat> now let me see here. Okay, here. In the corner of the paper you need to make a mountain fold here. On this line. And close the model again, like this. Right. The same thing here, the other side. So. Mountain fold like this. Now here in the middle, this part's going to be a little difficult, a little bit difficult again. So you need to open here the model like this, right? And then make here in this last line here a mountain fold. Right. And for the diagonal here. Right. And then you make a valley fold in the next line. Then a mountain fold again. A valley fold 
again. Valley food, mountain food, valley food, mountain food. Okay. Keep doing this until you get to this line here, the stronger line. Okay, until you get to this point here. Well, like this. And then when the those diagonals finishes, you make this less food less belly fold here like this and then just close the model it's kind of hard to close here but well, you close like this. Let me zoom in here. You close the model like this. Okay, we have finished it here, all the folds, now you are going to make the shape of the scorpion, so it's going to be something, something like this, you need to, let me see here, oh, okay. Here you're going to open here the middle part of the model, like this, right? And then the bottom, you do the same thing. You're going to open here, right? Like this. And just press here in the middle to make it lie flat. It will lie flat like this. It's kind of hard because there are too much paper here in the middle. Well, anyway, turn the paper over and fold here both claws all the way down like this, right? And then turn the paper over again. Here you will find the second leg okay here this one is the hinge leg so you just pull here all the way down all the way up I mean like this right so again here you will find the second leg right and then here is the in the leg, pull all the way down, all the way up, like this. Here you will find the third leg and the front leg. It's like this. Right? And this side is the same thing here. You find the second leg, the front leg. Now you need to put, put the details in the origami. It's really hard to make the details. You need to use a good paper. As I, as I said in the beginning of the video, you need to use a tissue foil and a big paper. 
basically the legs you're going to fold like this you fold here in half right like this and then you fold again in half to make it more thin but I can't make it in this paper this paper is not good for, for this origami anyway something like this right and then you just fold like this fold here down right and then fold here up like this and do the same thing here here and here now the claws the claws here you are going to fold in half like this right and then you pull here this lower part the claw and reverse fold here like this right well this is the claw you just just put the details just look for uh, any photo of um, any picture of uh, a real scorpion then you can you can see how to make the details so the same thing here right and then at the face of the scorpion you have this little part here the remaining part you just fold down right fold down like this this is going to be the face now the body you need to dig here, open here, this part you have two layers, take all the layers here like this and this side also and open here the model like this right now you need to take the paper here in the middle of the body and pull it down a little bit like this and then just push the paper here down again like this by doing this this last part here is going to to go up like like this right here you're just going to fold in half and then make the curves like this Right. And then again. Fold reverse fold here in the end. Like this. And make a small fold to the front. like this okay it's done you need to make all the details carefully and now I'm going to show you the video with the model I made so in this video you can see how to make the details if you use um, a good paper this one is just a tissue foil and by adding the details carefully the result is really good 
I really like to see the results if someone makes this origami. So please send me a message with the link, with the video or the photo with the origami you make. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you. Bye bye.